When you lose a game, the emotions run high. Our emotions run high from time to time. It's airing of grievances time. We do it during football season, and it gets me all fired up about all sorts of things. First one for me, and I'm going to try to keep this one simple because I want to fit two of them in here today. The NFL has removed the mandatory requirement that coaches be available each week for a conference call with the reporters who cover the opposing team. Now, the reason that was given to me is that they weren't well attended. They had interns on the calls. Sometimes nobody even called in, yada, yada, yada. Hey, I know over the years we have written plenty of interesting stories at PFT from the transcripts of those conversations because I know – that the reporters who cover teams don't like it when I say this, but there is a certain etiquette you must adhere to when you cover a team. There are certain questions you aren't going to ask. There are certain things you're going to couch a certain way because you want to have access to that team. And if you piss everyone off, it's going to be a lot harder to do your job. If you're not covering that team and you get access to that coach – you can be a little freer. Yeah. You can be a little looser. Right. You can be a little more pointed with your questions. Now we don't have that. I, I mean, I, I don't. I find that really hard to believe. First off, that interns were on there. I don't know. I mean, I want to throw the challenge flag right yeah, there. Yeah, I don't believe it either. Yeah, I don't believe let's, it either. Let's bring in the you know three forty five park and let's challenge that because I, I don't believe it. Either. Oh yeah, like. What like the New York beat writers? You're gonna play the Washington team. They're not gonna like want to do an interview on Ron Rivera and hear what he says and write an article about it. Like uh, bullcrap, 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 bullcrap. So I I don't buy that either. I don't get that either. Like what? What's the reason? I just don't get the reasoning there. I mean that can't be the reason. There's got to be the coaches complain. Uh, there there's got to be something more to that that they're not telling us. Protecting the coaches from potentially pointed and I don't want to say hostile questions, but, for, but look, and, and it, it's as predictable that people would be restrained who cover the team. It's equally predictable that they get pissy when you point it out. And I saw a tweet last night from somebody on the Jaguars beat. I've, I've never worked with anyone who has been afraid to ask a question. Well, then you haven't worked with many people because at some point it happens. You get in that group dynamic where no one wants to be the first one to tiptoe down the hallway to confront the Wizard of Oz. Yeah. No one wants to do it. You don't want to be the one that gets shunned or ostracized. Hey, talk to Albert Breer about it. He got yanked off the Patriots beat by NFL Network because he's the one that had Bill Belichick saying on to Cincinnati after that 43-14 to loss to the Chiefs seven years ago when Breer was asking questions about whether or not Garoppolo was going to play instead of Brady. It pissed off Belichick, and even though Breer lived right down the street from the facility he got yanked off the beat yeah. so it happens yeah. if you go too far Definitely. and you're less likely to be restrained by those concerns if you don't cover that team on a regular basis anyway yeah no I, I mean it, yes I, I agree with everything you're saying there a hundred percent uh I, I don't know I don't get that one I don't like it and it seems like there's definitely definitely ulterior motives there what's your other one let me hear your other grievance well, I, 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 we're going to do, you know, this is uh, equal time. Let's hear yours. Okay. Well, you want to hear know. my second one now? Or well, do you want to hear do Florio, yours? Florio, then Sim. So I just, so. Well, that's, okay, that's fine. Just, that's just because Pete's an idiot. Yeah, Pete is an idiot. I agree with you there. We don't, we don't. <laughs> panic meter panic meter on Pete being an idiot is 10. It's 10, okay? But, yes. All right. So my grievance is um, I, I illegal hitting too hard. Illegal hitting too hard on the quarterback. I can't take that crap. I can't. All right, and it specifically goes back to the Saints-Packers game with the roughing the passer call and a pretty big moment for the Packers football team on Zazaria Smith on Jameis Winston. Third and nine here, textbook hit. Textbook, 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 textbook. What, what the hell is that? I mean, are we going to play football or are we going to play patty cakes out here? I know we want to protect the quarterback. I don't want to ever see this called again. I'm sick of all the rules protecting the quarterbacks. I really am. I mean, I'm. I'm I, it, it's ridiculous. Well, 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 but, but, but this violated none of them. None of them. Absolutely uh, none of them. You go through the checklist. Right. And Mike Pereira was on the broadcast with Troy Aikman and Joe Buck. Yeah. It, it, he didn't have too many steps. He didn't hit him in the helmet. He didn't hit him in the neck. He didn't hit him with his helmet. He didn't scoop him and didn't drive him the into the ground weight. and put his body weight right, on him. Right. None of that. No. He just... 
He hit him so hard that we're not used to seeing guys get hit that hard anymore, and we just assume when they do, it must be a foul. No doubt. I think that's exactly what it is. You're spot on, and especially at the quarterback position. And we've seen that a few times over the last few years where it's been like, what? That was as clean as it gets. That guy's 260 pounds and runs fast. And, yes, it gets a little aggressive at times back there. You know, let's talk to the offensive lineman who's getting paid $10 million a year and tell him to block better. I mean, Jameis Winston was okay. I mean, that, that to me – uh, just bothers me, and I, I don't like that aspect about the sport right now. There's a little bit too much of that. Illegal hitting too hard. How dare you in this game? And I, I don't like that, and they, they got to watch at the NFL when it comes to that. You're taking away the advantage of some teams that are built through defense and physicality when you're going to do that. I mean, damn, there's no point in drafting defense ends and things then if you're going to have uh, the rules going to be that way. You know, crap, just play 11 corners out there then. I don't know. It just That really pisses me off. Hey, what did Tom Brady say not that long ago? It's on the quarterback to protect himself sure. and protect his teammates. Right. You get rid of the ball before you get hit by Zadarius yeah. Smith. You duck and cover. You get out of the way so you don't take that hit. Uh, yes. It's on the quarterback. That was a clean legal hit. It was just a very jarring sure. and old school hit. Right. It it falls under the line of like it, like the two. Like I love that Brady said that last week of like. You know, again, I saw a few plays this week, and quarterbacks made bad decisions. They throw the ball into four of a pile of defenders, pass interference on the defenders. No, they have a right to the football. It was a crap decision. Like, but you get rewarded for a bad play. Like, bad decision. Like, shouldn't have thrown it. Free 20 yards. Yeah, I mean, damn. That just, I mean, poor defensive players sometimes. I just want to go, what are they supposed to do anymore? Um, all right, your next one. Well, well and the point that, that you've made for years that Brady made throwing the hospital balls yes. and getting your receiver blown up all because you get 15 yards. Hey, all right, we got 15 yards. Oh, you wait, wait a minute. Yeah. We got our guy splattered with an illegal hit to get the 15 yards because yes. the quarterback threw the ball in a spot. He never should have thrown the it, ball. So a, that was Brady's yeah, point as it, well. The Brady's point was amazing. And I, Brady for as long as he's played has thrown very few hospital balls, very few. Especially compared to, I could go back through some other great quarterbacks and go, oh, no. They had a lot of receivers with concussion issues all the time. Like, and there was just no care. So Brady does have a care for that and his players and knowing where to go with the ball, certainly. I mean, he's the best of all time. So, all right, let me hear your last grievance. All right, last grievance. And Matt Casey, who is not producing today but is watching, knows me very well because, and this is an important point, the NFL has a real problem in St. Louis. It has a major problem in St. Louis. I practiced law for 18 years. I know how the dynamics work. And I know when a company that has been sued has to begin puckering very, very aggressively. And the NFL has arrived at that point because unless they write a gigantic check to the entities in St. Louis who have sued them over the relocation of the Rams in 2016, they will stand trial. And that means the commissioner, Stan Kroenke, Jerry Jones, Robert Kraft, other owners, grilled in open court. And we know how the billionaires operate. They don't want to submit to anyone's authority other than their own, where they're going to have to submit to the authority of the judge, the jury, the lawyer. It's like Colonel Nathan Jessup in A Few Good Men. They don't want to have to be told what to say, what to do. Well, that's coming because yesterday a judge in St. Louis – denied an effort by the NFL to end the case short of a trial. And my grievance is this, Chris. None of the national media outlets are paying any attention to it. Well, ESPN, yeah. crickets, NFL Network. And look, people at NFL Network get mad at me all the time because I say, hey, you're beholden to the league. You're being paid by the league. Your paycheck is signed by the commissioner. There are bridges you will not cross. And they get mad about it. Well, you know what? You want to prove me wrong? Cross this bridge. Let's see the item at NFL.com. Top of the stack. NFL to face a jury trial over the relocation of the Rams with a billion dollars on the line in January. And the trial is going to be going on when the Super Bowl happens in L.A. Yeah, well, I mean, to me, this, Mike, it almost falls under your first grievance. It's the same type of dynamic, except it's on a national level. It's like the national beat writers at a... I, you know, I'm sure they don't want to piss the powers to be off in the NFL. So that's, that's probably a little bit there. Like, like to back just, to your first uh, thing, there's, there's bought, some correlation there. I just bought there. myself a long day. I just bought myself a long oh, day. Oh, that's I'm all sure right. Look, hey, I, it, it drives me crazy. 
And and but people say to me, well, you hate the NFL. I don't hate the NFL. I love the NFL. I love professional football, but I'm going to hold the stewards of the game accountable. And if there is a relocation of a team that results in a potential legal jackpot for the league, the bad kind of jackpot. My dad always used jackpot like it, it's a bad thing. And I, that, that's an old school thing. Play the piano. Go ahead. But they are facing claims of fraud. I mean, Stan Kroenke, the commissioner, and other owners have to provide their personal financial information because the threshold has been met for a finding that they engaged in fraud to the point where they have to pay punitive damages if there's a finding against the league. This is a serious issue, and the league has been taking L's Week after week in this thing, everything they try fails. That doesn't happen to the NFL in court. Right. And it's amazing to me that no one is paying attention to it. That's my grievance. Yeah, that's a good one. And uh, I'm, I'm with you there. You, you had two good ones today. I, I liked it. Good, good. I feel better. Right. I feel like we went through therapy. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.